and now the mo motorcade with Mrs. Carter, with family members, loved ones, and her U.S. Secret Service detail are headed to the Carter Presidential Center that is in Atlanta, where she will lie in repose. The public will have an opportunity to come down to the Carter Center and say their goodbyes. There will be a service that we will showcase for you at 3.30. But now I, I want to get you out to our reporter, Adam Murphy here, who has been out at the Carter Center, and he will bring you that coverage on Atlanta News First. But let's check in with him. That motorcade set to arrive at around 3.15 p.m. just departed moments ago. Let's check in with our Adam Murphy out at the Carter Center. Adam, can you hear me all right? Um, we just took our viewers out to Georgia Southwestern State University, the wreath laying, a beautiful wreath laying. Family members of the Carters were there. And then we saw that motorcade take off uh, heading for the Carter Center in Atlanta. That's where you are right now. How are things over there? entrance is blocked. I mean, there's law enforcement out here. Now there is a, uh, an area where the media has been able to gather. Uh, and we have just gotten here actually moments ago and we're setting up. It's a very chilly day here. The sun is out. So that helps a little bit, but you know, we're just, uh, getting up and in position, uh, for all the, uh, activities that are going to be happening later. Like you talked about after the three o'clock hour, we do anticipate that, uh, the motorcade, uh, with the hearse uh, carrying Rosalind Carter will actually come here to the Carter Center. Um, and, and then there will be, of course, people taking the casket into the building in a small private uh, ceremony inside. Uh, and then after that, of course, this evening, it will open up around six o'clock from six to 10 p.m. for the general public to come here and pay their respects if, so, if they would like to uh, for Rosalind. And, you know, throughout our times covering the Carters, they've done uh, some significant work of both in their humanitarian efforts and advocating for the voiceless often. I know you are a longtime Atlanta and Georgia journalist, Adam. Uh, talk to me a little bit about your, your favorite memories covering the Carters. Well, I'll have to tell you, I mean, one of the most uh, memorable moments I think that I recall uh, or when the Carters would attend the Atlanta Braves games uh, back in the 80s. And I was uh, living in the Atlanta area. I was young at the time and, uh, you know, just enjoyed seeing them. They were always big supporters and big fans of the Atlanta Braves. And you may remember that uh, famous shot of them on the kiss cam. Uh, they were just such an incredible couple uh, together. Uh, 77 years, it's it's really amazing. And... Uh, I just know that uh, so many people love to see them. They were so involved in the community uh, in all aspects of it, uh, in the work too uh, that they did for so many years with Habitat for Humanity. It's very impressive, inspiring for me and, and many others uh, in the metro Atlanta area. But I have to think back to the days where they were over there at the old Atlanta Fulton County Stadium, taking in a Braves game on the KISS cam uh, it's just pretty cool stuff and a good memory uh, of seeing the Carters there. Now, I will point out too, Maria, you know, a couple of years ago when there was some uh, discussion about uh, President Carter's health, uh, I traveled to Plains and, and I went down there. And if you haven't been to Plains, what a treasure. It's almost like the community there uh, is, is frozen in time from the days that President Jimmy Carter was running for president. Uh, it's just cool. It's a tiny little town, but everybody knows everybody. They love the Carters there. Um, there's a lot of signage and so forth up, even presidential signage from back in the day uh, when President Carter was running for the, uh, the Oval Office and the White House. And, uh, and there's a lot of uh, historical areas over there. The school that they went to is a museum. So if you ever get an opportunity and you want to learn more about the Carters, the presidential library here uh, at the president, uh, the Carter Center, I should say, uh, is a great place to visit, but so is Plains. You'll learn a lot about them too and what they've done through the years. 
Adam, I know you're going to be there throughout the day uh, bringing us that coverage. A lot of people in the comments of our YouTube live were asking, you know, how, how can they come out and support. Uh, we mentioned there would be a public viewing from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock uh, where Mrs. Carter will lie in repose. Have you had a chance to talk to the, anybody at the Carter Center or out there yet? I mean, what's the mood out there? Not at the moment. Um, and the media is actually uh, placed in a, a an area right in front. You can see behind me here the sign, the uh, Carter Presidential Center. Um, and we are all placed media wise in this same location because the Secret Service, I'm told, will be coming through and doing a sweep, which is very common anytime um, you have any, you know, former president or first lady or president, anybody from, you know, the White House standpoint with Secret Service or that has Secret Service, they'll do a sweep of this area where the media is. And so we're kind of on lockdown in this space. So I haven't really been able to, to wander around because security is very tight uh, at the moment. But, um, you know, the only people that I've seen at this point are, are people like ourselves that are out here setting up for our coverage. Um, I have seen a lot of law enforcement, but they're just keeping the, uh, the area secure for the events that are gonna take place here later today. Um, the sun's shining, it's a cold day, and it's a, it's a beautiful day. Uh, for this procession which is going to take place and we hope to bring you the best live coverage uh, right here on Atlanta News First throughout the afternoon. We expect that this will really kind of get started in the three o'clock hour. So if you're planning your day and you want to watch our coverage, that is when we anticipate the motorcade will come through this area and then they will take uh, Rosalind Carter's casket into the Carter Center it will uh, be there and she will lie in repose in there. And then tonight at six o'clock tonight from six to 10, this area will open for people that want to come down from the general public and anybody will be able to walk through uh, and pay their respects. So big day on tap here at the Carter Center. And we hope to uh, bring you the uh, best live coverage throughout the day on Atlanta News First. Adam, I appreciate you hopping on our Atlanta News First Plus live stream with us, taking us out to a preview of the Carter Center. We'll be sure to catch your, uh, more of your coverage on Atlanta News First later on this evening.